Welcome all wrists. Here I have the Bremont broadsword on the original steel bracelet. Now, if you're interested in seeing the watch on the original strap, check out my previous video if you want to see more of that. Now, getting into why I purchased um, the bracelet. Honestly, I'm more of a bracelet guy when it comes to watches, but the Bremont broadsword is a great option if you like to wear your watches on straps. Anyway, uh, first I'll show you, I'll showcase the strap, or the, sorry, the bracelet on the watch, um, give you some wrist shots, then I'll get into my thoughts and experiences with the bracelet. So here it is. Here's how the bracelet meets the case or the watch head. Some nice brushing, some polishing there. Matches really well, fits well. Now I'll get a, I'll try to get as much angles for you because um there's not any videos on YouTube about the watch on the bracelet. And um I'm sure some of you have contemplated getting it on the bracelet. Put it on the wrist. I have a six and a half inch wrist, guys. And I'll put it on my right hand for those who like it on the right hand. Alrighty guys, now some thoughts about the bracelet. Um, the end links match really well with the case. So if you see how it's just that nice clean slope, it's a nice clean slope down. Whereas um, a lot of watches with the male end links would have this middle part kind of like protruding out a bit. But um, yeah, this is like a nice clean slope, nice clean look brushed on the sides to match the brushing on the case there five link bracelet with brushed and polished accents but the end link is one solid piece okay so if you have a look the end link is one solid piece now the end link does have these nice um, polishing here which flows well with the polishing on the lugs. So you can see there, it's a nice transition from case to bracelet. Makes it look more cohesive. Here's the clasp, signed clasp, solid and milled. Nice simple button action, just nice and simple. Now, some of my issues with the bracelet. Have a look at this. See that? No taper. Now, an issue with no, having no taper is a big clasp. And guys, this clasp can feel chunky. Okay, and a taper would have really uh, reduced the size of that clasp. And the taper, I feel, would have made the uh, wearability and bracelet more comfortable. So that's something they could have uh, worked on. And keep in mind, this is not a cheap, uh, cheap item to buy. You know, I, I bought the bracelet separately, and it cost me about nine hundred and seventy-five Australian dollars. So it's not, you know, it's not cheap, guys. And if you are, if I were to recommend getting it on the bracelet or the strap. 
I would honestly recommend getting it on the strap. But if you want both options, go for the bracelet option because you can get the strap uh, cheaper. But guys, another thing, <sighs> the system they used for changing the links, it's really, really annoying. And you might look at first, so if you see, there are screws, okay. See, screws there. But check this out. Watch what happens when I try to uh, remove one of these screws, ready? So, right now, I'm screwing. Hmm, but it's not coming out, I wonder why. Yeah, have a look. See how it moves too? Yeah, you know what that means? That means you have to get another screw to hold down this side, kind of like anchor it down and unscrew here. And you can see already how that could be annoying because I, I have to not only hold the watch, but I also have to hold the screwdriver in place here to unscrew. Okay guys, so it took me uh, longer than usual to <laughs> um, adjust the size of my bracelet. Now, you could take it into, um, you know, Bremont to size it for you, but uh, I like to do it myself and I actually don't have a Bremont, um, what do you call it, boutique near me to uh, size my bracelet anyway. So I had to do it myself. So if you're planning to get this bracelet and you're wanting to do it yourself, keep in mind, you will need two sets of screwdrivers. Okay, so that <laughs> that's one annoying thing. The clasp does have three points of micro adjust, so that's nice. And guys, it's, look, I like the, I like the look of it, but I feel like um, an all brushed bracelet would have suit the watch much more because the case is <laughs> mainly just all brushed besides these polished parts here and a bit on the crown. So I think, yeah, I think an all brushed bracelet would be more cohesive, but the polished accents do give it, you know, a nice pop, nice presence on the wrist, you know? So if you like that, um, that's a nice touch. But you know, personally, I think an all brushed look would have fit the watch much better. So there it is guys, He's, there's the bracelet. Give you one last look and i uh, hope you enjoyed the video if you want to see more watch content make sure to subscribe see you guys